Hello, my name is Qi Dan, or QD for short. I work for AutoBeam based in Beijing. We are a digital TV, IC, semiconductor manufacturer. Uh, my first question is for DVB-S2 people. Uh, I understand, my understanding is uh, DVB-S2 is going to have extensions, uh, which is going to be adopted by roughly October 2003 this year. Uh, my question is, we already have S2 chipsets on the market. Uh, for the new S2 extensions, do we have to modify our S2 chipsets to accommodate any changes or extensions that will be introduced to the new standard? Right, on the uh, adaptation of chipsets, we do expect uh, new chipsets to come on the market uh, that, that carry the S2 extensions on board. Um, so yes, the, chips, the current chipsets will probably not be fully compliant with the new um, S extensions. So uh, we see this um, coinciding with um, progress like uh, HEVC, the high efficient video coding, um, in that time frame. We do make sure that the complexity level of this improvement is um, uh, very much um, portable to the, uh, to the current chipset design so that we don't expect long lead times for new chipsets to actually come on the market. Uh, the complexity level is quite low to add it to the, the, the current designs that are already on the market.